now it's time for the grill. Karen Phillip and Angela Moddard, how are we, ladies? Good, thank you. Yeah. All right, let's start with this one because it's a very interesting article mm. we all read this morning. The cost of childcare is an ongoing problem for parents, as we all know. But one Perth based think tank has offered a novel idea import carers from Indonesia and the Philippines. They're saying these carers should come to Australia and mine children for $200 a week to help ease pressure on family budgets. Now, uh, obviously, $200 plus the accommodation, it's, it's a bit of a variation on the au pair role. Karen, what do you think? Why are we bringing in people from overseas? I mean, we have so many young women in this country that need work. We have so many young women living in the country that wish to go to the city to, to do work. Is it because no one in this country will work for $200 a week and do 18 hour days, six days a week, perhaps? But I think we need to give our own people that option of work first. And I disagree with this only because childcare is now an education. It is not a babysitting service anymore like it used to be years ago. And that's why it's so expensive now for parents, because it is like a private school. And these, um, these nannies don't have any educational training. Now, if we were to bring them out or even use our own young ladies, train them up as certificate level or diploma level people, that's completely different. But to do what they're suggesting, I find completely but, but, but are we organised enough to do what Karen says? Are we in yes, a situation we where we can do it, Angela? Well, what girls, are your won't, girls won't do that for $200 a week. Look, I think it's... A, I have conflicting arguments because I'm also thinking about what those women are then doing for their own families back in the Philippines or in Indonesia and who's looking after their children. But then, arguably, Julia Gillard um, authorised lots of um, uh, uh, workers to come and work in the Pilbara, ma male workers, similar sort of thing. So how is there a difference? Should we be stopping women from empowering themselves upskilling, helping their families in the long term and taking those skills back to their own countries and if raising the quality. Skills. Well, that's the thing. That's the crux of the yes. argument. Are yes. we going to upskill them? But as you say, Tim, it's not highly different from Swedish or German au pairs coming and living here. So I think it's a really good scheme to be considered. Mm. But do we want to undercut our own people who are, who are um, working as hard as they are? Yeah, because the meat on the bone of, of the whole issue is saying $200 a week plus accommodation, plus food, plus two flights back. It's, it's an interesting one. It's a very, very difficult issue because a lot of us are going through the yeah. whole process right at the moment, both working young children. Oh, now, yes. mums are fired up online. This is outrageous. This. After a woman wrote an open letter to Gwyneth Paltrow. Now, Gwen thinks life and relationships would be easier if she had a nine to five office job and a routine. Well, well, well. The mums have a message for her. Get Real Gwen, life on a movie set must be hard. What do you think, Angela? $22 million a film, drive your staff yeah. around in a double-decker bus. Five houses, 3,000 tonnes of steamed kale to eat every year. Oh, con consciously and, and, uncoupling. Yeah, yeah, but a nanny, a chef, yeah. a personal trainer. I mean, come on. Do you know what? I want to take Gwen away from the health spa. I want to take her down to the, to the, to the local deli. I want to get her a bacon sandwich and I want to sit her down and give her a dose of reality because she set herself up as this kind of paragon of female perfection and it is all going to come back and kick her right now. No one asked her to set up Goop. No one asked her to give her, you know, whimsical True. and thoughtful ideas about parent raising. She has not got an ironic bone in her body, that woman, has she? She is totally <laughs> missing the irony, Jean. And how she nice married to a Brit, how yeah. could you not have one? Yeah, it's, it's like flying on planet Gwyneth. I mean, yeah. one, of, one of the great lines, and I'm not quite uh, per se, but one of the lines the, the woman wrote the letter said basically, oh, it's great going out with my friends because there's babysitters that just run yes, our streets yes. whenever we want yeah. them. Yeah, for sure. Is it, look, Tom Cruise made that statement a while ago that it's harder working on set than it is yeah. being in the army. Yeah. I mean, look, obviously these people don't live in reality, they don't live in our world. And I think the letter was brilliant. So good. Yeah. She was great. Brought it down really well. You know how you have that celebrity wife swap program? I'd like to do oh. a celebrity celebrity swap program where I go and live Gwyneth's life and she can come and <laughs> rock up in my house Look. and unstack the dishwasher every morning. We'll get the letter on our website so you can have a squiz at it. It's oh, well it's worth reading. It's, it's a great It's space. an absolute ripper. Now, check out this video of Road Rage. Talk about karma. This driver starts tailg tailgating, then he gives the finger, then cuts this lady off and watch what happens. It's going to come up very, very soon. So he's done all this stuff, given the finger. We've probably taken the touch slightly early, but we'll get there very, very soon. <laughs> watch it. Yeah, anyway, it's, uh, look, basically what happens is the guys are just about to do something which he gets all his bad work back on him.
and there's the finger there, and this lady's just driving along, just trying to do it well, just trying to do her job, just trying to get on the road. Ladies, and bang, 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 there it goes. <laughs> I guess why was she taping while she was driving is my question as well. Oh, I loathe her as much as I loathe him. <laughs> what world do we live in that you that you drive along recording someone? She's mm. inciting him. I think that I equally culpable. Mm. I really do. And I hate the thought that my kids will be watching that sort of video mm. and they see that lack of civility. Yeah. And, well, you know, we already have huge programs with road rage. I don't have any... Um, respect for either of them in this situation. Oh, no, I agree. Someone's just telling me apparently she wasn't filming Gwyneth Paltrow was sitting there. <laughs> so, and now finally, a college in America is offering a course on Miley Cyrus studying topics like gender, race, class, fame, power. And do you think Miley is a person you want to be studying? Oh, we completely disagree on this one. Um, no, honestly, get out there and get a medical degree. Do some science. Teach some kids. Who cares about Miley? I mean, really, why are we studying her? I mean, yes, I know for years we've been studying the Miley phenomenon, and I know it's great for marketers and, and advertisers, but you know what? Girl wears plastic bikini. End of story. Oh, look, I, I don't think it's, it's really a course on Miley Cyrus as such as... A sociological course on on what's going on now like all these people are now coming into the media now we've spent many many years studying artists and why they feel the way they do when they paint a lot of people think that that's crazy we've studied uh, we have psychological studies on, on a lot of our psychopaths Ted Bundy and, and Ivan Malak Hang people on. like that uh, that's interesting but this is completely different and this is new this is how we sociologically come from where we were as, as children through social media and why we become the way we do and what gets us there. And I think it's fascinating. She's good, isn't she? I was just about to go, Picasso, Miley? But you're absolutely right. She's right. OK, you won. Oh, I've got a bigger problem with her dad. I still wake up in a cold sweat. Oh, yeah. You break me, break me hard. I used to be a radio announcer playing it every three hours. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Karen Edge, good to see you. Thank you so much. Good topics today, Dave. Back to you.